Adriana, it's 602. The world changed forever in some ways one year ago today. It is the day the NBA pulled players off the court and postponed its season. One year ago today, the World Health Organization declared the coronavirus illness a pandemic. Prior to that, it had been something looming, but kind of felt like it was in other places, right? And might not really threaten daily life here significantly. As the NBA shut down, other sports soon followed suit and then orders to close schools and businesses. Ryan Jenkins is live this morning looking back on this day and ahead as well on this strange anniversary. Ryan. Good morning. One year and what a year it has been. March 11, 2020, so many people went to bed, woke up March 12, 2020, and some fully expected to be able to scan their tickets, head into the Pfizer form and watch the Bucks play the Celtics. But we had some news for them on that day that the NBA had made a decision that in many ways led the way. It was the first of many shuts that shutdowns that changed our community significantly. Take a look back with us. Ryan Jenkins is live at Pfizer Forum with us this morning with how that decision impacts the Milwaukee Bucks and what we know about the spread of coronavirus here at home. Ryan, good morning. Good morning. A lot to unpack as we wake up this morning. Tonight's Bucks game here at Pfizer Forum against the Boston Celtics has been canceled. Yeah, that was a shocking morning. There were between three and five confirmed cases of COVID-19 here in Wisconsin on that day a year ago. Today, there have been more than 567,000 in our state, a dramatic change, and that got us wondering what else has changed since then. You know, to put this day in perspective, one year ago, there were no public health emergencies declared yet in Wisconsin. Leaders within the city of Milwaukee were saying that big events were not yet canceled at this point last year. Even the St. Patrick's Day parade was set to happen, of course, within days of the NBA's decision, major events like that parade were also called off. And there were still more than two weeks until the governor issued a safer at home order here in Wisconsin. But the impact was felt almost immediately. Businesses adjusting to keep their staff and their customers safe. And when we look at this through the lens of unemployment claims in the first week, uh, or I'm sorry, in the week of March 7th of last year. So in this week of last year, there were just over 5,000 initial claims for unemployment insurance benefits. The unemployment rate was just under one and a half percent. But over the next two to three weeks, that number of initial claims would climb to nearly 111,000 for the week of March 28th. The unemployment rate would climb to nearly three and a half percent statewide, and that rate would continue to climb dramatically, getting up to nearly 11 percent by mid-April and early May. Today, the numbers are trending in a more promising direction, though we've been reporting on how big of an issue unemployment continues to be amid this ongoing pandemic. One year later, though, a limited number of fans going to be heading back into the arena. We know they've welcomed back fans here. There's going to have, they're going to have a game here tonight, 7 p.m. against the New York Knicks, a sign of the rebound through the lens of the NBA. Reporting live here in the Deer District, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News. Yeah, some sense of normalcy, Ryan. Thank you.